Welcome to the Rescatax tutorial. We are going to see how to recover Windows Boot, how to restore group, how to update and restore group, how to share a boot info script log, how to blank Windows password how to reset new Linux password and finally how to regenerate Sudor's file. Linux partition was removed. Group rescue appears. How to recover Windows boot. This is a normal dual boot installation, Ubuntu and Windows 7. I am going to boot into Ubuntu. Ubuntu is here and I can enter into my desktop. I am going to reboot. Now I am going to boot into Windows 7. As you can see, Windows has started. Now we are going to remove Linux partition because because we can do it. We remove both volumes which are the root petition and the swap petition. And then we remove the free space petition. Let's extend our Windows partition size. This way we can take full advantage of our hard disk space. So we have a complete partition for Windows. Let's reboot and see that everything it's okay. Oh no! This is a disaster. We can no longer boot into Windows. How are we going to play to Minesweeper game? Let's fix it with Rascatax. First of all, we will boot from Rascatax disk, either from a CD-ROM or an USB. We choose Rascatax Auto, so that we don't have to care about our CPU model. We wait for Rascatax to boot. If needed, we change our language. We click on Login button. Rescap appears in the center of the screen. We scroll the options 
and search the Windows section. We are going to use the Restore Windows MBR Beta option. Then we click on the Run button. We choose our Windows Boot Petition, which it's usually the first one. We select our Windows hard disk, which is usually the first one or the only one. We order the hard disks if needed. Rescap tells us that it succeeded. OK, let's stop the machine and reboot it without our Rescatex CD-ROM on it. Now we can see that the computer boots directly into Windows. We will check if we can use Windows normally. That's it. So Windows works OK. Windows has been reinstalled. Linux no longer boots. How to restore group. Our dual boot installation is back. Let's reinstall Windows. Windows has been reinstalled. Now we can see that the computer boots directly into Windows. Oh no! This is a disaster! We can no longer boot into Linux. How are we going to play to Tax Racer game? Let's fix it with Rescatax. We are going to use Restore Group option. Then we click on the Run button. We choose our Linux partition. We select our Linux hard disk, which is usually the first one or the only one. Wait a bit. Rescap tells us that it has succeeded. OK, let's stop the machine and reboot it without our Rescatax CD-ROM on it. Now we can see that the computer boots directly into Linux to the group menu. Windows partition has been removed. Partitions have been renumbered. Update and restore group. This is our dual boot installation, Linux and Windows. So we are going to remove Windows. This will make Windows partition space available to Linux and as an addition we will have one less virus in our, our system. So Let's do it.
Let's ignore the warnings because we are cool. So the process has ended like magic. Partition number five is now partition number one. Partition number 6 is now partition number 2. We are going to reboot without Skatex CD-ROM. So, we are booting without Skatex CD-ROM. Oh no! This is a disaster! We cannot longer boot into Linux. How are we going to play to 2048 game? Let's fix it with Rescatax. We are going to use the Update Group Menus option. Then we click on Run option. We choose our Linux partition. We wait a bit. Rescap tells us that it has succeeded. We are going to use Restore Group option too. Then we click on Run button. We choose our Linux partition. We select our Linux hard disk which is usually the first one or the only one. We wait a bit. Rescap tells us that it has succeeded. OK. Let's stop the machine and reboot it without our Rescatex CD-ROM NIT. Now we can see that the computer shows group. If we try to boot Linux, it works. You can see how Ubuntu is using the new partitions. This is only possible because distributions use UUID to identify their own partitions. How to run boot info script and how to share its log. Now we are going to learn how to ask for help in Rescatex. So you can click on chat button and you then click on run button and an X chat window will appear. So the X chat windows it's connecting to Rescatex channel and you can ask for help. So usually someone will uh, reply to you or maybe uh, anyone because we might be busy. So usually you should uh, see uh, this answer okay so they are telling us to run support and boot info script and then to run support and share log boot info info script log txt and 
they are telling us to paste the paste bin URL. So let's going to try to do what we are told to do. So under support there is boot info script. So we are going to run it and Rest up tell us that it has succeeded so boot info script must run OK and then they tell you how to share it. So we are going into support and share log and we run share log. We click on run button. So we will select the boot info script log dot txt file and we will copy the URL and we will paste it on the chat. Finally we can just click OK. So we just have to wait for someone to help us. Also recommended that you explain what your problem is. So that they can help you better. So that's it. That's the way that you share a paste bin URL and um, this is the case of boot info script. So let's take a look so that you see what paste bin has inside it. This is the boot info script that the other people can read so that they know what your partition layout is. Okay, so that's it. How to blank Windows password. So, we are going to Windows and we are going to change our user password. Okay, so let's try a random mm, Online password generator and so this is a nice password. Let's put it here. Okay. To I'm going to log out. Okay. So I'm asked password and I'm going to write something. Oh, password is incorrect. What am I going to do? How I am supposed to play to Minesweeper? We are going to fix it thanks to Rescatax. So we will reboot with Rescatax in our CD-ROM. Okay, so we are going to scroll down so that we find Windows options and we are going to choose the blank Windows password option. We'll click on the run button and we are going to select our Windows partition. In this case it's partition number 2. We are going to choose which user we want to 
reset its password. In this case, it's the second one. So, Rescap tell us that it has succeeded. Windows password was reset OK. So, we are going to reboot without CD-ROM, without Rescatex in the CD-ROM. And we will make sure that we boot again into Windows. So we are at the login screen. We select our user. And you can see that we are logging without a password. So we have managed to log in into Windows without a password. You should only do this if the user directory in Windows is not encrypted or if it is indeed encrypted you don't want any of the data to be uh, recovered. If the data is elsewhere it won't be encrypted and you will be able to read it. Okay, so let's halt our dual boot system. How to reset new Linux password. So I'm going to log in into Ubuntu. So I am going to change my Ubuntu password. Okay, so change the password, the old one, and we paste the new one. So this is the new one. Okay, let's change it. We close. We close, we log out, okay, log out, and now we're going to use the old password, oh, non-valid password, try it again, this is a disaster, what am I going to do? I can no longer play Tax Racer game. Let's fix it with Rescatax. So I am going to boot with Rescatax cd -ROM on the computer. So we are going to find the Linux, uh, the Linux, the password section. And we are going to choose change new Linux password. We click on the run button and we choose our Linux partition. We choose which user we want to reset its password, to change its password. Now here we are going to put our new password. Okay, so password is okay and Resca recommends us to change it once you are back in your system. So let's reboot without Rescatax syndrome on it. So now I am going to try the new password that I have set and oh it works now I can log in into my Ubuntu account as suggested I'm going to change my password from inside Ubuntu itself So 
I put my new password. So the lines at the zoo. Okay. So that's it. How to regenerate Sudor's file. So now we are going to edit etc Sudor's because we have read somewhere somewhere that we can use it um, this text we can use it so that the programmers group can have new 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 data and and so how we we manage to 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 write an A that it's incorrect. Okay, so we save it and we are going to reboot. So now I'm going to try to see root directory files permission denied. I am going to use sudo L it does not work. What I am going to do if I cannot see root files? We are going to fix it thanks to Rescatax. So we are going to generate another Sudoris file so that uh, we can use sudo again in our installation. So we search password and we click on regenerate sudo's file button and then we click on run button. Now we are going to choose our Linux partition and we are going to choose which user we want to be in sudo's by default. So, Sudoris was changed OK. So now I am going to reboot into uh, Ubuntu again. OK, so now we have rebooted and we cannot access uh, root directory. But now when we use sudo, we can see what it's inside root directory. Well, the, there is not any file. Now we are going to see what we have on um, etc. We have um, a backup from um, our friends uh, from Rescatex. So I'm going to to edit okay. Oh there is an A that should not be there and there is another A that should not be there. So I'm going to save and I'm going to fix it so that Sudar is fixed. It's here. That's not very well done, but it should work. So if I try it again, it works again. So the, the final suggestion is not to use sudo edit but to use the sudo. The sudo is going to check if everything is okay. So we are going to put A's and so We are going to say that we 
the one to save the changes. That's it. So what I mean is um, that if you use um, RESCATAX to fix your sudoers file, you've got a copy here and you can just use it as a reference to reconstruct sudoers file because uh, RESCATAX builds a custom sudoers file that might not be um, equal to what you had before using RESCATAX. So be sure to compare Sudoris backup from RESCATAX with the new Sudoris file and change the new Sudoris file so that everything is as it was. So that's it. Rescatax tutorial summary. As a summary, we have seen how to solve Windows Boot when you remove a Linux partition. We have also learned how to restore group once you have reinstalled Windows. Then we have discovered what happens when you mess up with Linux partition. Maybe you remove Windows partitions and you renumber the Linux partitions. You need to update group and to restore group. Not to forget that boot info script lets you get an image of your boot information and how to share it with the rest of the world. We have also mentioned how to blank Windows password so that you do not need a Windows password to log in into Windows. Afterwards, we have reset Linux password so that we can set up another one in those cases where we don't remember our old password. Finally, we have seen how to regenerate Sudor's file in the unlikely case that you may stop that file too much. As you can see, Rescatex is very easy to use. If you click on in an option, you will see its explanation below. And if you want to run it, you just click on the run button. Then some nice dialogs will appear. You can also use some expert tools as boot repair which is the least expert one, that means that's the easiest one to use, Gparted, OS Uninstaller, Photorec, and Test Disk. In that case, you are on your own. Do not ask support for it. You can also click on the chat button so that you can chat with Rescatax people if you aren't sure what to do. But first of all, check documentation at www.supergroupdisc.org. This was a nice summary about what you can do with Rescatax. Now it's up to you to learn how many more things you can do with RESCATAX. Enjoy it!